Hi guys, just before we jump into today's session, I want to let you know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites to analytics and marketing tools, Squarespace is the all-in-one place to grow your online presence and manage your business. So thank you to Squarespace for their continued support here on the channel, but let's jump right into the video. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I've got another at-home training session for you to sharpen up that all-important first touch. We did a session here on the channel recently. I'll put a link to it on the screen right now, but it follows the exact same format. So all you're gonna need is a wall, a ball, and two cones placed one step apart from each other. There's 10 exercises in total that get increasingly more difficult with each one. So start off slowly with the first one, and then once you gain confidence, move into the next one. But 10 exercises, let's get right into it. For the first exercise, you're gonna pass the ball at the wall, then you're gonna take a touch with the outside of your foot through the cones, and then with that same foot, play the ball at the wall with the inside of your foot. You have to be quick with your feet movements with this one to shuffle from one side of the cones to the other, and then you're almost playing a reverse pass, getting that foot around the ball, but using the inside to punch it at the wall, and then the inside of the opposite foot to take your touch across your body. Try and go for one minute straight without stopping. For the second exercise, it's a diagonal pass at the wall, then it's a quick shuffle through the gate, and then with the outside of the same foot that you pass with, you're taking your first touch back through the gate and then repeating. So you're going all right foot for 30 seconds, and then you're gonna go all left foot for 30 seconds. For exercise three, you're gonna play a diagonal pass with the outside of the foot, then it's quick feet through the gate, and then you're gonna play the pass with the outside of the opposite foot. So it's one touch going for one minute straight without stopping. For exercise four, you're gonna pass the ball at the wall, then you're gonna take the touch through the gate with the outside of your foot, then with that same foot, it's a Cruyff turn back through the gate and then repeat the pass. So we're going for 30 seconds on one side of the cones, and then you're gonna go for 30 seconds on the opposite side of the cones. For exercise five, you're playing the pass at the ball, and then with the opposite foot, you take your touch through the gate with the outside of the foot, and then you're gonna put your foot on top of the ball, same foot that you took the touch through with, you're gonna hook it behind your standing leg, and then you're gonna roll it back across with the opposite sole, and then repeat on the opposite side. For exercise six, you play a pass at the wall, take your first touch through the gate, play another pass, 
take your first touch through the gate again, but this time your body goes behind the back cone. So you have to be quick with your feet, make sure you're light on your toes, and then you repeat this action. So you're gonna go 30 seconds from the right side and 30 seconds from the left. Exercise seven is similar to exercise six. You take your touch through the gate, play a pass, then you go back through the gate, play a pass, and that third touch goes in front of the back cone and your body goes behind. So this allows you to get touches on both sides. So for this exercise, you can go for a minute straight without stopping. For exercise eight, you play your pass at the wall. You take your touch with the outside of the opposite through the gate diagonally backwards. So your body goes around the cone and then you play the pass with the same foot and then your next touch goes diagonally forward. So it's a movement shuffling and also going forwards and backwards. So you're gonna go 30 seconds on the right hand side and 30 seconds on the left hand side. For exercise nine, you play the pass at the wall, then your second touch plays it back to the wall first touch, and then your third touch goes in front of the back cone and your body goes behind. So get in a rhythm with this one, you can go for 60 seconds without stopping. And for the 10th and final exercise, you take your touch in front of the first cone, through the gate, in front of the back cone, behind the back cone, and behind the back cone one more time. Soft pass to the wall, so then you can repeat on the opposite side. Start slowly with this one, really work on the weight of that touch and the weight of your pass, so that you can go through the pattern for 60 seconds without stopping. Yeah. Okay guys, so those are the 10 exercises you can work on at home to improve your first touch. 
And as you can see, I've got a decent sweat on, but you're in full control of the intensity. So if you're having more of a recovery day, you can go through these a bit lighter, but if you want to ramp up the intensity, you're going to get a good sweat on as well, so it's entirely up to you. Hope you enjoyed today's exercises, and if you want to see more like these, you might be interested in my very own First Touch training program, Controllo. It's got over 50 exercises to challenge your First Touch in all different ways. Just before I go, a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is where I bought my very own website, 7 mlc training and it's been an absolute game changer for my brand and I know nothing about coding or web design and they helped me customize it to make it look exactly how I want it to to represent 7MLC training in the best way possible. So if you do have a brand or a business make sure you check out Squarespace, link's going to be in the description and if you use that link you can get 10% off your first website. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos and I will see you guys in my next video.